Good morning. Good morning. I've got a rider with me today. He's going to school. Glad it's not the school down the street. But the traffic just down the street is so crazy. See you, sweetie. Love you. Oh, we, we beat the rush. There's like a dozen cars that just passed me taking the kids to school. And we're early. Can you imagine? It's 8.41. And school starts at 8.45. So, yeah, starting the year off good. Just getting there early. Well... Let's uh, let's go get some coffees. Let's go see if we can find Noel. It's not his real name. And uh, we'll see if we can get that apartment painted in the rain. It'll be, it'll be an interesting day to see if the paint will actually stick to the wall. It's, it's too humid. Sometimes it won't stay on the wall. We'll try though. I'm in the kitchen. Look, it's almost done. This is the bathroom. Remember the bubblegum pink or the chewed bubblegum pink? Done. Cut it around once, we're gonna have to do it again. Marty, who are you talking to? I'm talking to everybody on the internet, no. <laughs> do you wanna say hi? Hey internet. <laughs> Look at this room. Isn't that nice? Uh, I think we're done in here, other than the trim and in there. Cut in again. It's coming together nicely. Okay, I just dropped Noel off. It's not his real name. Uh, he's gonna go do some pottery. I guess that's what big burly guys do is they throw pots. Uh, and I'm gonna go to the blood letter, give some blood. I got my band-aid. Now I'm off. We have done our civic. I love it, civic. Anyway, we've given blood. It helps other people. It's a nice thing to do if you can do it. Uh, okay, now let's go find a hardware store. That apartment that it's being painted right now. It needs uh, blue boxes. I guess the, <laughs> the last tenant took them. So, uh, now the last tenant has boxes that say the address of his old place on them now. Okay, so we'll find some new ones and spray paint those with the new address. So the next person can steal them too. Well, it looks like the home hardware I go to doesn't have the right size blue boxes. So, we will try another spot. Hey, there you are. Oh, you can't see me. Huh, you may notice I'm wearing a life jacket and I got my wet skins on. Guess what I'm doing? I know I already signed off and everything, but thought we'd come out and play with the boat. Just, uh, you know, play with the boat. So, we're, uh, we're pulling the boat out. There's a flood here with all the recent rains. And, uh, well, it's flooded. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pull your boat out now? Yeah, we're going to pull yours out too. You think so? Oh yeah, let's pull it out. And we're going to put an anchor on the back end of Jeff, so he, we're going to row his anchor out as yeah. far as we can, drop it, and hook it on so Did that... talk to those Upper Towns guys? Yeah. What did they say? They're looking for somebody. They're looking for an amber flashing light out there. Okay. So, somebody's out there. They don't care if you pull your boat in? Oh, no, no. No, they're, they're good. So, you want me to hook up? And... Yeah, hook up. And, uh, yeah, just hook up. Actually, come down and help us with ours, and then we'll get it out, and then we'll bring yours out. Okay, I'm going to grab my phone and call. Yeah, call him. <laughs> tell them you're still alive. <sighs> That's Brennan. He's the guy that has this 
my old siren. <sighs> okay, let's get that situated. Okay, oh, just go. Here we go. We're gonna pull the trailer. stupid boats well, trying to get them off the dock my dock had floated up and turned so my boat was between shore the dock and another boat a 4,000 pound boat um, hopefully there's no damage I didn't even look but <laughs> we uh, we got us off of that uh, out of that predicament by backing up and pivoting on the the dock was still attached to one of the poles so we pivoted I pulled out into the lake I was gonna the other boat doesn't have a motor so I was gonna tow them over to the, the dock so started towing them <laughs> and the line got caught in the prop. Up the shore we go again. Now I'm further down. Nobody's against me. And so then it was haul the anchor out in the dinghy, drop the anchor, pull the boat out. But the road I had on the uh, anchor wasn't long enough. So I used my floating <laughs> nylon, 175 feet, pulled it out, or rode it out. Uh, my buddy Jeff rode. And uh, uh, I pulled a, anyways, pulled the boat out so I could get out away from shore and use the motor. And uh, got them, got everything. Uh, got those guys to the dock, and uh, then we, we, I was just going to anchor the boat and say that's it, look after it tomorrow, but thought, you know what, let's, uh, let's pull it out, so we pulled it out of the, the lake, <laughs> and uh, we also pulled out Brennan's boat, he's the guy with the siren that I gave him. And tomorrow we're going to get Jeff's, uh, and the lake is still rising. When we got there, it was like 2.2 meters above normal, and they're expecting uh, 6 to 7 meters total. So, Jeff's boat is tied to the floating dock at the, the uh, club, but we also anchored it out anchored off the stern so that he's not pushing the the dock into the shore so it should be fine what are you doing yeah imaginary mice hey, let's let's wrap it up here it's been a bit of a day for me did some painting, did some bloodletting, and then a whole bunch of boat saving. Uh, oh well. Everything's good. Thanks for watching. Wash your hands. Tell your mom. Be nice to people. Wear a mask. All that jazz. See you tomorrow.